Okay, this is uh, Larry Hughes again. I'm going to uninstall Expression Web, reinstall it, and go through installing my template again. Okay, so go in a control panel. I'm taping all this so that uh, we all can see what happens. Uh, and that there's evidence of my uninstalling. Right, control panel, uh, I don't know, what's the, what is the crap here name? Parent control, easy to follow the recovery windows. I forgot how to do this. Isn't that a damn shame? Um, pro program the feature, there it is. Okay. So I'm going into this crap. for Microsoft Expression Web. Pow! Then I want to say uninstall. All right? Damn. So Expression Web is doing its thing, whatever that thing is. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Let's remove you bastards and reinstall you. Ready to record and all this? I shouldn't have to, but I am. Because I want to move past the problem and do with what the shopping cart for the reason I bought it sale products. So, isn't there like a pause button for this? Yeah, let's go. Well, while this is going, I'm going to pause. If not. So, I'm resuming recording after Microsoft Expression Web has been uninstalled. If you look here, now, in my program list, uh, full of the M's, you no longer see Microsoft Expression Web. Oh, what the fuck? Here's the full Microsoft Expression Design for Encoder. Oh. I'm just going to leave that. Just reinstall Microsoft Expression Web. Okay, so it went to my download, the install. I don't know. Hopefully this works. Uh, well, since we're here, I'm going to remove this folder, My Store, I Love Thy Shirts. I'm not only going to remove it, I'm going to permanently delete it again. And yes, we're going to permanently delete. And I'm going to go to see um, Users. Larry. And Downloads and Expression Webs. Professional upgrade. We install it. I say yes. <coughs> so while that installs, look like it installed. While that installs, uh, I put you guys on pause. So I'm back and I'm installing the Expression Web again from my download of Microsoft.com that I purchased directly from Microsoft.com and I'm hitting the install button. So I'm installing the crap. 
I'm going to pause this again because I don't want to think you want to see all the scrap. Okay, resuming. Uh, looks like it has uh, set up successfully. Uh, click it on finish. Uh, close this out. And let's start again. Expression web. Wow. So when I open up, it says server error, no site named, which is good because it, I deleted the folder. And if I go under site and manage site list, let's remove and remove. And click done. I'm going to close expression web. Okay, so now let's go do the work of extracting the e-commerce solution template download. My programs, e-commerce template, the responsive design template. I'm going to extract all files and I'm going to browse and I'm going to go to Larry and my documents. And create a new document, a new folder under my documents called my store love thy shirts. And I'm gonna click OK. And this is where it's gonna be extracted to. Gonna extract. Okay, it looks like everything extracted. Got all the folders here. The F front page DB, images, JS, prod images, templates, VS admin. Open up the templates folder. I do see the project.dwt. Uh, close out of this because we're not working with that right now. But open up Expression Web. And. Oh yeah. I'm going to go to site, open site. I'm going to browse to the site I want to open. My store, Love Thy Shirts, the directory I just created and named. I'm going to say open. And I'm going to say open again. And Expression Web opened it. Let's see. Let's go into templates, project.dwt, and we get the default. Um, per the instruction verb instructions changes to this web I'm gonna say okay then I'm gonna go to site and site settings I'm gonna click maintain the site using hidden metadata files which is what we want to do right right so click okay to that expression web use to add information to your folder to help manage your hyperlinks and other site content yes I want to do that oh all right, so it's all in there. Let's go and make a simple change to the uh, to the project.dwt. All right, under system in the systems link in the text of that particular link, I'm just going to add a simple exclamation point. And I'm going to save it. And I'm going to get the message there 18 files attached to this template.project.dwt. Would you like to update them now? I'm going to say yes. Let's see what happens. Diggity dog. I got the same error message that no files updated of the 18. All of them skipped. Um, 18 files in total. Zero files updated. 18 files skipped. Total time zero zero colon zero zero colon zero zero. As to why this did this, I don't know. So again, I'm asking the community for a little help. I'm getting weary. Um, if you have any other suggestions, I have now uninstalled the Microsoft Expression Web, reinstalled it, uh, uninstalled the template, um, reinstalled that from scratch, and I recorded it for you all to see. So any other suggestions, please help.
I'm Larry Hughes. Thank you.